Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm back in my here in South Korea in my home, and I've been here almost like a month. But I've been here like for a month because if you ever heard of that coronavirus outbreak in China, great. And also, before we start the video, I want to tell you some facts about the coronavirus. The full name of the coronavirus is the 2019 coronavirus, but we just call it the coronavirus. Now, when you think of virus, is you just think of a diamond shape with some legs sticking out of it. But the coronavirus looks like an emoji virus. And well, scientists don't know why. What is the main cause of the coronavirus? Because it's a new virus. Well, I heard that it was from eating a bat. And it has killed 123 people. And it's 6,000 people are infected while we are talking right now. And it's increasing. And any, any virus has to have some genetic material, DNA and RNA. And the coronavirus contains RNA. They just shoot it out and attack a cell and make more of them. Now. I'm here with the coronavirus, and this is how now let's talk about it. Since I'm back in here, I just forgot to pack my uh, English bus uh, reading key core two book, so um, I couldn't, I didn't, I wasn't able to read it. But the good thing is that I watched the this video from this app. That was lucky that I brought my iPad. So let's get on with today's topic. Learning about language, common mistakes in English. So, as you say, I don't have anything yet mistaken, but still, you do. Well, if you're in advanced English, you could get wrong with advanced English, but some, most people who are fluent in English, but also make tiny mistakes. The three most common mistakes that people make is... Well, for example, was was a good time. Let's say that someone is thinking about when he was swimming into the ocean, and he said it was a good time. It he really meant it was. Sorry, it was a good time, and that's how it happened. But still, it was just well a type of common mistake. And here's another example. A run-in sentence. Run-in is like two sentences that are accidentally put together in a very, uh, very different order. But it's incorrect. Like putting the two sentences together with a comma. You shouldn't put a comma in a, in two sentences to make them put together, to make them connected. You should have a connective, like an and, or that, and better you can think of. That's how it works here. But in my place, this sounds very great, but still, they say no. Because it's grammar. You can't change grammar unless you become, a, unless you become someone who works with grammar and makes something clear. Of course. But you, you're not the guy who made grammar. Anyways, back to, back to the learning. So, since about that, I want to tell you all, I want to tell you a pass, I want to tell you a passage and correct the mistakes. Mm, there'll be just two mistakes. There'll be just two mistakes. And it will be easy and a little difficult for the second one. In my opinion for that. Mm, let's start. One day, I woke up at 7 o'clock. I went downstairs and brushed my teeth. Then, I had breakfast with my family. I, I got to the park at 6 and... I watch the movies in the dictator cinema. Then I got in 
Then I got out of the deck chair cinema, and went all the way to my class. To my class. It was a very fun class, and we and we made our own maze. The maze contained three symbol. I liked the compass rose symbol. Then I went back home, and I brush, and then I study for the rest of the day and played a little, and I went to sleep. Got the two mistakes. If you find more mistakes, please put them in the comment below. So first is watched, watched, maybe, and the next one is symbols. I said three symbol, but it's supposed to be three symbols, like three pen. No, it should be three pens. But anyways, type of thing is that story, myths, and legends are very good. It's still that all of you are able to get this on all times. You should try to get lots of stuff. In a very good scene. So what I mean it, and I mean it, study grammar. I should start studying grammar too. Huh. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.